Because of this spiritual dullness in our hearts, we are not fully aware of the blinding, deadening, awesome power of sin, which is now being conquered in our lives. If you are feeling healthy tonight, you will be thrilled with the power of your medicine that you're taking only if you know how deadly the disease is that's attacking you and which you're being saved from. If you don't think you have a disease, the pills you're popping will not impress you. But if you think you're dying and your life is depending on these pills, you're going to love these powerful pills, right? So there's one of our problems. We don't know or feel the magnitude, depth, and power, and pervasive might of indwelling sin. We don't. And therefore, if we, if you are being given any measure of victory, any measure of victory over sin in your life, you would stand in awe of the mighty power of God toward you if you knew the depths of sin from which you were being delivered. That's number one. Number two, flowing from this dullness of our own hearts is that we don't know or feel the magnitude of demonic power that is coming against us every day of our lives. Yes, even in this modern, technological, scientific, Western world where nobody believes in it. Anyway, if you only knew, if you only knew what was coming against you spiritually, from the devil, from the pit of hell, and the hordes of demons that are in this world, if, if any of you were feeling safe, tonight. You would be amazed at your protector only if you knew the mighty power of the enemy he's keeping at bay. But if you don't believe in the enemy, you won't believe in the power that's protecting you moment by moment every day from going insane with demonic power. We, we don't see it. Our, our eyes are dull to these spiritual things.